Salaam, Salaam, Salaam. So, so you asked us, what do we think about Jesus? We believe in Jesus as a prophet who worshipped a creator, and that creator is Allah. Right? We can know him through many names, like the most merciful, Ar-Rahman, the most forgiving, Ar-Rahim. But we love the Creator and all His prophets. Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be on them, they're all prophets of God, right? Yeah. Like for example, you know in the Bible, Jesus put His head down and prayed to the Creator, right? Mm -hmm. To the Father, as we call it in the Bible. So obviously He wasn't God Himself, or who would He be praying to, right? Yeah, exactly. So, so you believe Jesus is God or you believe He's a prophet? He's, 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 he's the Son of God. Uh, but think through that, right? What do you mean he's the son of God? Like you mean physically? Well, uh, God the son, yeah, he's divine. But think through that, right? Divine nature. Think through that. Okay. Is he the servant of God? Servant of God? Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. So if he's a servant of God, then he's not God himself, right? Right. And that means that if he's not God, either he's a separate entity who's a physical son of God. But then if you look at the Bible, many people are called sons, right? Yeah. For example, here in Exodus, you see, then you shall say to Pharaoh, thus says the Lord, Israel is my son, my firstborn. But that doesn't mean Israel's physically the son of God, right? The same thing about Solomon here in 2 Samuel, right? Then he shall build a house for my name and I shall establish the throne of his kingdom forever. I will be his father and he shall be my son. But again, not a physical son, right? David in the book of Psalms, right? In 2, 7, I will declare the decree the Lord has said to me, to David, you are my son. Today I have begotten you. Oh, yeah. Okay? So we got Ephraim, we got Adam, right? But that means they're not physically, like Adam had no father and no mother, yeah. right? Yeah. But those are terms of endearment, maybe in the Aramaic language. But God has no kids. God is one, he has no wife, he has no girlfriends, he has no father, he has no roommates. Like Those are all human relations. God is above all that. You believe that, right? Yes. You believe there's one creator, right? Yeah. That creator is all powerful, all knowing, right? In the Bible, it shows that when Jesus was... I'm the president, I'm In the Bible, for example, when Jesus asked about the hour, he says, nobody knows the hour, not even the angels, not even the son, only the father, right? So if Jesus didn't know the hour, that means he wasn't God, right? So if he doesn't know and the creator knows, then we worship that creator that Jesus worshiped. What do you think about that? You believe in that? So you believe there's one creator, right? Yeah. And that creator sent prophets, right? Yes. Like Abraham, yes. like Moses, yes. like yes. Jesus, like Muhammad, peace be upon them. You believe Muhammad was a prophet? Yes. Uh, Good. Of course I do. I believe it. I agree you with know, you. Because... Uh, so Jesus, from now in this conversation, we can agree that Jesus was a prophet. He was a holy man. He was without a father, but he wasn't the son physically of God, right? Uh, I, I, I believe... He, 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 he's, uh, he's the son of God. Um. But, but look at all these other sons in the Bible. Are they all sons of God? How many sons does God have? Well, uh, through Christ, uh, if he said, I'll be a father to you. You should be my sons and daughters. Right? You know, sons everybody. and daughters to everybody, right? Yeah, everybody. But that's yes, not right. physical. That's just a term of endearment, right? Spiritual. Spiritual. So yeah. that means me and you are no different than Jesus. We're all creations of God, right? Yeah. We're brothers. And We're brothers and sisters in humanity. I got you. Now, all of the prophets are also brothers, right? Yeah. And they are all these prophets of God, servants of God, those who worship God. Like Jesus, in the Bible, he's a servant of God. Yeah. He worships God. Yeah. He's not the physical son of God, right? So if we take that out, then Jesus, no doubt, is a prophet of God, as Abraham is a prophet of God, as Moses is a prophet of God. When you go to a priest and in America, like Catholics and stuff, they'll tell him, forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. But they don't mean, they don't mean, I'm not Catholic either, I feel you, but I'm just saying, they don't mean that he's literally their physical father. It's just a term of respect, right? You may look at a young man and be like, let me holla at you, son, right? But you don't mean that his mom and you were in a relationship. You mean just a term of endearment. In that way, you could say all these in the Bible were terms of endearment. 
But the problem is people have taken him to be physically the son of God, like a part of God. And he was a human being. And you know that God is above all that. He's above human relations. He doesn't get tired. He doesn't sleep. He doesn't lie. He doesn't cheat. He doesn't. God is all knowing, all aware, all powerful, right? Yeah. God doesn't forget when the hour is. God always knows, right? Yeah. So let me present to you the Muslim belief, which I think you already have, right? One creator created the universe, created everything, right? Sent us guidance through prophets, through Adam and Abraham and Moses and Jesus and Muhammad. Peace and blessings be on all of them. We believe in all of them. We love them as prophets. What do you think? Yeah. You like it? Yeah, I like that. You believe that? I believe that. I all right. Believe that. So I'm going to confirm with you now. You believe there's only one creator? Yes. And none should be worshipped except that one creator? Uh, Right? You don't believe in worshiping the Mary? The testimony of Christ Jesus, the spirit of prophecy, worship God. I don't worship Mary. Uh, don't worship I, I, Jesus, I, right? I, 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 I worship God. And, Excellent. And spirit and truth. So nobody should be worshiped except the one God, right? Yeah. Not Jesus, not Moses, not Mary, not Muhammad. Peace and blessings be upon all of them. But they shouldn't be worshiped. Only that one creator, right? Yeah. All right, good. Hosanna. Hosanna. Most High God is Father. Allah is the word in Arabic, Al-Ilah, right? The only one worthy of worship, right? Then you have the prophets. You believe in Adam? I, 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 I don't follow Adam, no. The first no, no, no. Adam. But, but do you believe there was an Adam? Yeah. Okay, good. Adam means he was a man. prophet. Yeah, but, but there was a first but, man. But the last Adam is Christ. The, the last, life giving spirit restoring the dead to life. But think about that, and right? The last celestial, man. Celestial, heavenly minded. Sure. But if you look in the Bible about that comforter that was to come, the prophet, mm -hmm. right? Who was that? Let me, let me show it to you. Hold on real quick. Where's my, where's my backpack? John mm -hmm. 1 in verse 19. Now, this is the testimony of John. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yes, sir. So this is during the time of Jesus Christ, right? Yes, sir. He confessed that he, and he did not deny, but confess, I am not Christ. He said, I'm not Christ, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And they asked him, Are you, are you the one that, that, that is Elijah? Then they asked him, What then? Are you Elijah? He said, I am not. I'm not right. Elijah. Right. He said, Are you the prophet? Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. And he answered, No. So who's this prophet that would be after Jesus? Because he already asked, are you Jesus? And he, Christ, he said, I'm not. So he's not talking about Jesus Christ. But then they asked him, are you the prophet, the prophet? They asked John that. Yeah. Uh, and, and, so and, who's this prophet that they were waiting for? They, they, it was Jesus Christ. But they already asked him, are you Jesus Christ? He said, no. So it's not Jesus Christ. He's, he, okay, he said, he, See, they asked he said him, he's not Jesus Christ. Right. So then they asked but, him, but, if but, you're but, not Christ, are you Elijah? He said, no. They said, are you the prophet? And he says, no. He says, no. So that means there is a prophet to and come. That, that, that was Jesus. That was Muhammad, peace be upon him, because this is already the time of Jesus. If it was Jesus, when he already said, I'm not Jesus Christ, then they wouldn't ask him, are you the prophet? Right? Look, if I'm going to ask you, are you a police officer, right? Mm -hmm. I tell you are, you, are you a cop? And you say, I'm not. I say, are you a lawyer? It's like, I'm not. Are you a doctor? I'm not. So that means those are different things, right? Mm -hmm. If I told you, are you a cop? You said, no, I'm not going to ask you, so are you a police officer, right? Mm -hmm. right? So when they asked him, are you Christ? And he said, I am not Christ. He told them already, so it's not about Jesus. Then they asked him about a different one, which is Elijah, not Jesus, right? He said, I'm not. Then they asked him, are you the prophet? the prophet they were waiting for. That is the prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, that was to come. Right? So the last prophet is the prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. You feel me? So, so it's an individual person that's coming. That's, he already came. He already came. 1400 and some odd years ago. His name is Muhammad. You never heard the name Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him? Uh, yeah, I heard of Muhammad. And that's yeah. him, right? The one that split the moon. The one that caused these great miracles. No, there was before cameras. We didn't have cell phones at the time. 
more than 1400 years ago. We don't even draw pictures of him because we don't worship him. We worship the creator of Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. We worship the one that Jesus worshiped, right? You look at here, it says, and this is an act, and God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, the God of our fathers glorified his servant Jesus. His servant. Mm -hmm. So the master of Jesus, that one creator, that one God, that's the one we worship. That's the one you should worship. Yeah, that's our worship. All right, so there's only Most one God. Adam, Most High God is Father. So now, can we agree there's only one God? There's only one God, but one Jesus creator. Christ is God the Son. But he's not, because look at all these other people that were called sons. If you take him they're, as they're, a son. They're, they're, sons, they're sons too. But so how many sons does God have? God has many sons and daughters, all of us So what's are. the difference between us and Jesus, if we're all sons of God? Jesus, well, it was a divine nature. But where did the divine nature, if he was divine, wouldn't he know the unknown? Unknown, uh, uh, yeah. He, okay, but look. But of that day and hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Oh, I see. You see? So this means the Son here, as a reference even in the Bible that we have in today's corrupted and changed version, still shows that this is not divine. God knows everything, right? Yes. God knows when the hour is. Omnipotent, omnipresent, omniscient. We'll talk yeah. about all that, but if you look at that God knows everything and the Son here in the Bible doesn't know, that means He's not divine. Agree? He only knows what the Father revealed to him. Exactly. So that means he's a servant, a prophet. That's what happened with prophets. The, the, the Creator reveals to them. But the Creator is the only one that's divine. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. We agree with on you. that? I, I, all right. I, 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 all right, so the, let's get back to that. The, the testimony we, of Christ we Jesus. We agree. Okay, this, this is it. I'm going to say something here. Okay. Allah for with Hosanna, most like God's father, nothing is ever impossible. No word from God's word, I'm probably possible to fulfill me. I found God's word and I ate it. It was a joy in my heart, mind, body, Holy Spirit. You ate it? Like I'm physically? Call, I'm called like by David your name. Ate the front? I, I'm called by your name, O oh Lord God of hosts. Uh -huh. The lion have roared, who will not fear? The Lord has spoken, who but can prophesy? The testimony of Christ Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Worship God. Worship God, not Jesus. And not Jesus. I'm with you. All right, so the only one worthy of worship is that one creator, the, yeah. the creator of Jesus. We agree? Yeah. And that creator sent prophets, right? Yeah. From Adam to Abraham to Moses to Jesus to Muhammad, peace be upon them. They're all prophets, right? Yes. You're Muslim. That's what a Muslim is. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, I, that's why I... I You're a Muslim. I, that's, that's, that's why I say... That's why, that's I why say, Allah brought you here today. Okay, so that's why I say that, you know, like... like, like uh, I, I believe I'm a, a last Adam, a son of God, one of them. But I don't... With, with, with me, I follow divine peace with all... Uh, but I don't think I don't, your belief. I, I, your don't, belief, I don't want a religion. But, but it's not about taking a religion. It's about recognizing the truth. Okay. That Creator brought you here today and got you a Quran. This is the words of your Creator. Uh -huh. Go home and read this. Okay. Right? Uh, the divine truth. Divine truth. Not that, not the works of Koinic Greek by anonymous authors like the Bible. This is the words of Allah. The yeah. words of the Creator of Jesus, of Moses, of Abraham and Muhammad. Peace and blessings be upon all of them. You already have the Muslim belief. You believe there's one Creator, right? Yeah, yeah. And that one Creator is the only one that should be worshipped. Not Jesus, not Muhammad, not Abraham, not a monkey, not a cow, not a statue, not Mary. That one Creator is the only one that should be worshipped, right? Yeah, yeah. And you believe that that Creator sent the prophets like Abraham and Moses yeah. and Jesus and Muhammad. You believe yeah. in all of them? Yeah. Peace and blessings be on them. You're a Muslim. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, the, okay. Now, uh, are you ready to testify to that? What I what I what I say is this right here. Like, I believe that you know, like like uh, uh, Muslims is. I don't think that there's a. Re, it, it would be classified as a religion. So that's what I'm and saying. I don't want to. I it, want a relationship. Excellent. That's what Islam shows you. When you pray. You're not going to go to a priest and confess. You're going to pray directly to your Creator. That's what I do. Five times a day, you're going to pray. We're going to teach you. 
all right? How to pray according to the words of your Creator. We don't want to indoctrinate you into some kind of cult or group or church. We want you to have that direct relationship with yeah, your Creator. Just, uh, every day. That's every day. Five times him. a day. You're going to put your head on the ground like Jesus did, like Abraham did, like Muhammad did. Peace and blessings be upon them. You ready? Testify. I bear I, I, I don't think that you have to do that. Though. No, no, no. You do, but but you, you just have to, as the Prophet has shown us, say what you believe. Say, I, I bear witness. I, I bear witness. I and believe. none are worthy of worship. No. The, the only except God. The, except God. The one Allah. Hosanna. The Hosanna. one creator. Yes, yes. And I bear witness. I bear witness. That Muhammad. Muhammad. Is a servant and prophet of God. Is a servant and prophet of God. Allahu Akbar. Allah Allah Akbar. A Muslim. That's what a Muslim is. You have professed your faith. Now, yes. we're going to hook you with some brothers. We're going to teach you the Arabic of that. They're going to teach you how to pray. And you're going to read the Quran. And slowly, slowly, you're going to learn the rest of the religion.